out to be the coolest project I've ever done. <laughs> Welcome back to Ask the Energy Advisor. I'm Brian Hawk, the Energy Advisor at Noble REMC. We've done a couple videos on air sealing and the air sealing that we've done to this point has been high. Uh, we did do a door seal, which is in that mid, mid pressure plane, but today we're gonna focus on the crawl space. So when you think of your house as moving air through it, think of a chimney. And the warmer the air gets, the higher it rises, the more it pressurizes and finds its way out. Well, in order to go out, it has to bring air back in. Here's a prime example of where this house will be bringing cool air into the crawl space. So what we're gonna do is, this is a pretty typical crawl space door for um, what I see in a lot of my energy audits. This is just a stamped piece of metal. It originally had a latch right here that would push us in. This door is designed to actually push in, bring it back into that opening and then latch it into place. There is no air sealing, um, method to this crawl space door whatsoever. No, no insulation on the backside. This is a very big energy loss for most homes. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and open this up, get inside and see what we find. As you can see, there's really nothing on the backside of that crawl space to keep the cold out of your home. Well, what in the world? Somebody left all kinds of tools in here, some lumber, and some weather seal. So, we're back to our trusty weather seal that we've highlighted a couple times or in a couple other videos. We're gonna utilize this aluminum rail vinyl weather seal to seal this crawl space door up. And all humor aside, what I've done is came out, pre-measured everything. Um, we've done some legwork behind the scenes already in order to keep the video short. So what we're gonna do is build a frame, a wood frame. And this is all just pressure fit. As such, this one will go up like this, like this, and then this one will slide in. So for video's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this, uh, do it pretty quickly, everything's pre-drilled, and we'll talk about the tools needed for the job as soon as I'm done. So one thing we didn't talk about before I got in this crawl space is air quality. I uh, did an audit on this home a couple weeks ago and realized that it had a natural gas furnace. So anytime you get into a confined space, you need to have a CO2 monitor. This is a four in one gas monitor, so it gives me everything I need to know to make sure that I'm safe. We cleared it out outside, we're all good on the inside, so I'm just gonna leave it down here to keep, continue to monitor. So what we did was I pre-cut all of this. Um, it's just a little one by two with this, like I said, aluminum uh, weather seal here. Pre-cut it so it is tension fit, meaning I had to use my hammer to tap it into place. Um, it is not fastened to the steel framework. What I will be doing is running a bead of caulk on this side and a bead of caulk on this side to hold it into place. Uh, along with the friction fit. So this should be uh, a long lasting fix for this, for this door. Um, again, we're gonna have a, we're gonna fashion a plywood door that comes in on this backside. It's going to depress this weather seal. I've got my little eyelets right here. We're gonna have a, a again, it's going to be under stress. So when, when I put that hook through the eye, it'll actually pull that door up against the weather seal and give us an airtight fit. On the back side of this door will be two inches of rigid foam glued and screwed to the back of that so that we get our we get our weather seal and we get our insulation factor that we're looking for in this crawl space. Um, once we once we get that done, uh, we'll be able to just put this door back in place. Again, it, it belongs on the inside, but the, the latch for it is broken. So what we've done is put all of the weather seal and insulation on the inside and then our weatherproofing will be on the outside. So that door will be strictly just for weatherproofing um, this opening. So with that, I will crawl out and we'll show you the door we made. So just real quickly, a few tools you'll need for a job like this. Um, obviously hammer, use my tin snips to cut our aluminum weather seal. Uh, just use the basic little torpedo level so my frame is level inside there pliers, keyhole saw to cut our foam that we're going to fix to the back side of the door, tape measure, a um, couple of drill, drill driver, caulk gun, and again, this is our little one by material that we used, 
And all I did was take that weather seal, set it, fasten it to this, pretend this is our frame, and then that door is gonna come in and press that weather seal right up in tight where we want it. So again, we've pre-cut everything, and now we're just down to, uh, I've got two inches of poly iso foam that we're gonna attach to the backside of this CDX plywood. Um, I would not recommend OFB for a project like this. It's not, it's not nearly stable enough to hold up. Um, again, we've just got our simple little latches here, a handle that we can push this in, pull it out, and then we're just gonna latch it together. So for a project like this, again, we're using our Liquid Nails product that I know is safe for foam. Just gonna get some walnut globs on here, walnut size globs. And we're gonna attach that foam and let it set up. Now, one thing you wanna be cautious of when you get ready to cut your foam, you want that foam to be slightly, ever so slightly undersized of your frame, of your door itself, I'm sorry. So our foam has set up, our glue set up. So our foam is officially attached to the backside of our CDX plywood. We're just gonna go ahead and get this door in place. And as we said earlier, that's gonna seal right up against there. We've got the weather seal pushed in, so we've got a nice, won't say it's 100% proof, but not many things are 100%, so very close to 100% air seal. Um, we've got a little more work that we're gonna do in this crawl space, so I'm not going to show you right now, but I will caulk this edge of the uh, two by or the one by material so that we can make sure and that's air sealed as well. Also helps keep the bugs out. So that's it for that door. And that allows us to once again, replace the existing original door in a little bit different configuration than what it was made for. But that will keep the weather and the big critters out. So that pretty much does it for the crawl space, entry door, ceiling, and insulation. So if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call at Noble REMC.